Mariana Lawrence met kunst en vermaak. Yes, Mariana Lawrence with art and entertainment. And it gives me great pleasure to be here in almost a home from home <laughs> for me. Being here so often, being in shows, I'm at the Savoy Theatre and I am chatting with some shadows. <laughs> 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 and I've got... Darren and Hannah and Angela and Rose. And Rose, of course, obviously, you are no stranger to this platform. I'm glad to be back, Mariana. <laughs> uh, and it's so nice to have you again. This time for Matilda the Musical, but maybe I should first start by asking you to explain what a shadow is. One of the most important things to the Gilbert and Sullivan Society is development. We've been doing workshops for many years, we've done a lot of training on our shows in the past. So when we started to do Matilda, we thought it would be a great opportunity to mentor people, particularly when we've got creatives like Robin Williams and Ian Von Memity and Dara Bacardo, Shireen Ferreira involved that they have such an enormous amount of knowledge and experience to pass on. So uh, part of the plan right from the beginning was to ensure that each of those people mentored somebody. So uh, Darren is being mentored by Shireen, although he is the choreographer for the show. So he's got a little bit of extra weight on his shoulders. He's not just a shadow. Robin Williams is mentoring me because all of us can learn no matter how old we are. And Hannah is being mentored by Dario, our musical director. And Angela, even though she's a very experienced vocal director, is, is still finding lots to learn from Ian Von Memity. So it's, it's a wonderful way to do the show and it's a wonderful way to build the expertise that we have in Nelson Mandela Bay. And of course, some of these people that, you, that are actually mentoring you, they are already legends. They've performed, they've directed, they've been, I mean, the Von Memities, we all know them. So we had to take advantage yes, of that and absolutely. do as much as we can. And so Angela being mentored by Ian, I think it's quite a privilege. Yeah, it's been a blessing. I mean, I, I think, like Rose says, I've done many shows and, I, and I've kind of obviously had my degree and, and taught myself how to kind of do this. But someone like Ian Bamuti has so much experience as a big name in the industry, not even in the Eastern Cape in South Africa. And I think just the, the knowledge, like Rose says, I think anybody can learn at any age. And I feel just I've learned so much already from him, how he develops these actors, how he pushes them out of their comfort zone. I'm, I'm quite a kind of a quiet person and he's the extreme <laughs> opposite to this kind of loud extrovert. And I've learned I've got to kind of come in the middle between him and I and, and learn some things to bring out the actors and bring out their voices and, and that's been quite eye-opening already in the three weeks that we've been going. I've learned quite a lot. Yes, it's actually been awesome. I've been there with you mm. because I'm just a small little blade of grass in Matilda. <laughs> if you blink, you're going to miss me. But I'm in the ensemble and singing the songs. Yes. So, yes, and Ian is amazing. Mm. I just went home and I said to Robert, you know, I... Ian is just a little different. <laughs> I mean, he just, he's, he's energetic. Yes, very, very, very energetic. <laughs> and he just gives us with such patience. And of course, you, you yourself, Angela, I've been in musicals where you have been our vocal trainer. And what a pleasure it is to work with you. Okay. Thank you. is so, the songs are so different. Oh, no, it's, it's, it's probably one of the most unique shows I've ever worked with. It's not your traditional kind of songs and sing along. The music is difficult, and, and I don't think he's held back considering this is a kid's show. It's difficult for the adults. It's equally difficult for the children. But I like it. It's something new and different, and I think PE hasn't had this before, and I think we're going to shock them a little bit, and the kids are going to be excited. When I was young, this movie came out, and, and it was a massive thing. Um, I read all the books and watched the movies, and I, it's amazing even now kids – like when I was that age, mm -hmm. I was still talking about it with such excitement. And that's a, a, a role doll. I mean, his books are just amazing. And Tim Hitchkin, who wrote this, he's just embodied this music perfectly. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's yes. fresh. It's, it's different. And, uh, and it's shocking. Yeah, shocking. That's yeah. a perfect yes. way of describing it. Shocking. shocking. And in a good way. Going <laughs> to you, Hannah, you are working with Dario. And we haven't gotten to you guys yet. But that's our next step, isn't it? When we actually start putting, when Robin puts stuff together, because Robin, Robin Williams, she's a yeah. our director, yeah. and then he's also, but the music, 
Angela has now said about the songs, and we were talking about how shocking they are, but the music, and it's fast. It is. There's a lot of different, like there's some slow numbers, there's some up-tempo numbers, there's a lot of variety in the music. And being a music student, I can view it in that eye, that eyes, like I can analyze, you know, the different, like, choices of the music as well. Um, so it's very interesting. Very interesting. And I believe you're still in school. Yes, I'm in matric. You're in matric this year. So you have to actually juggle your life. Yes, I'm quite used to it though, like being involved in a lot of things. But I'm really looking forward to this experience. Yes. And yeah. Hannah is actually going to conduct one of the shows, conduct the orchestra, Wonderful. which is very exciting. Yeah. Yeah. That is what Dario is, he's a conductor. Yeah. With his conducting wand, he actually waves and miracles happen <laughs> <laughs> with the music. So that's going to be nice. Now, let me first go to Darren then, from you, because... Rose and Angela, I've known them a while. Rose, we've known, we've come a long way. Yeah, so my we, first show, first, Mary, we, Just after you came to South Africa, I meet yes, you. Yes. And we've been friends since then. And I must say, we've gone different paths up and down, yeah, and then, and we've done lots of stuff together. So it's been very nice. But now, Darren, we now stalked you on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> I actually just saw dance, 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 the snake, dance and dance and dance. You know, whichever language you speak, you can interpret dance any way you wish. That's true. And of course, you're going to be the choreographer. Yes, I'm the choreographer. And of course, my mentor. And she's also performed all over the world. I mean, she was in Cats, in Korea and in other countries for 10 years or something like that. I I can't remember how long she's been there, but it was a long time. And of course, I saw something about street jazz. Yes. So street jazz is what I take about it is your technical theatrical jazz dancing and then you mix in the street element into it so it's not as technical it's more free and fun ah that's sort of darren's little baby that one i think yes. <laughs> which which means what does it incorporate different genres then it's mostly jazz type of dancing yes. but it can incorporate elements of hip-hop as well that's where the street element street comes in. Comes in. in. Yes. The, the Darren has went to Waterfront Theatre School, so of course he's trained across many, many different. Yeah, I've trained in ballet, I've trained in modern tap, especially Broadway. But I came with my hip hop background, and that's where I started my technical journey. Is that your passion? I'd say yes. The hip hop or the jazz? Dancing. Uh, dancing. <laughs> ah, it's got to be. And so whatever is required. You can give it. Yeah. You if, can give if, it to us. if I'm not used to a certain style, if someone can teach it to me and give me sort of elements, because I'm a natural actor, if I someone tells me, okay, pretend you are a flamenco dancer, then you mean like pretend, okay, I have the posture I'm here up there. So the moves will just come easy. So I think that's all part of just acting in general again at the end of the day. Well, dancing is, is acting. acting. Yeah, it's dancing. just an extension of acting. Because if you, if you think about all the big dance shows that we've watched, you can't act, you actually can't tell the story, yeah, can you? That's true. Because they've all got stories. Yeah. And you're after Matilda now, because we're, in, we're going to be busy with Matilda for a while until October. Until October. And then... What well, we'll see what happens <laughs> after that. I can't say exactly, but we'll hopefully there's bigger doors opening. Because we're so this. happy that we can now again perform yes. and we can fill auditoriums. We yes. don't have to have a cheap empty in between, or you know, because of the COVID. Okay, to sit somewhere, so we have to leave lots of <laughs> chairs empty. You know, one of the best things, Mariana, is we've been able to drop the ticket price. Because when we could only have 170 people, we had to charge 180 rand. But we've been able to drop the tickets to 150 rand, which is going to be great news for the families out there, plus some special shows at just 100 rand as and well. Now, coming to that, Rose, because yes. are we doing row seating? Are we doing. Yes, this will be in row or? seating. For Matilda, yes. Okay. We'll be having our first preview show on the 21st of September, and then the official opening gala will be on the 23rd of September, and we'll be running through to the 8th of October. 
So quite a long run. It's tw- at least 22 shows, maybe more, but a wonderful opportunity for everybody to, to be part of this. And uh, talking about the length of time, of course, the cast is huge because there are three teams of kids. Because there are characters of school children in this show, and there are three Matildas. That's right. I think we were only planning two, but they were so good that uh, we have three Matildas. Two of them are only eight years old, and the other is ten. Absolutely amazing. Yolani is our... Sorry, she's nine, not ten. Yolani is nine. Uh, she's been doing singing and dancing since she was tiny. We have Elena, uh, Leander. Elena um, made her stage debut while her mother was pregnant, and, and Melissa was in the Pirates of Penzance, which I directed back in 2013. So that was Elena's first time on stage. She wasn't even born yet. <laughs> And uh, young Danica, who's playing in the third Matilda, she's never done singing or dancing in her life. So it's lovely to see the three of them so different, with such different backgrounds, and all of them are doing amazingly well, and the singing is just coming on so well. I agree with Rose, they are so unique, actually, and I think, I mean, if you can afford to come watch each of them, that would be amazing, (laughs) because, like, Elena is a real passionate singer, she just loves singing, and and Danica has got this real bubbly energy, really, like, kind of playful, and Yolani is just, she's kind of a more serious one, but she really, when she sings, she really brings up out of character she really performs with her heart I call that with my kids she's one of those little girls that just performs with her heart so I think each show with each cast is going to be very, very unique and different and it's going to be I can't wait for the end product now just to, to see them up there because I'm obviously the first step in the process so and I'm already so excited to see the three of them in their, in their roles here yeah. And of course, they just blossom. Yeah, they have already. They have already. And I think when all these other characters, like uh, the bigger characters, Trench Ball and the Wormwoods, come together, they they're going to even blossom even more. So that's going to be quite exciting. Because up to now, they've been rehearsing these songs mostly, and everybody's been doing it separately, not together. So we can't wait to actually see some of the. And of course, Robin Williams. She's just a wizard at yeah. putting the stuff together. We just love her and love working with her. She's so professional. And it's been 10 years since she did a show with Genus. The last show she did for us was uh, Fila's Child, the musical. And That's we did right. a, a second run in 2012. So it's so lovely to have her back on board as well. So it's, it's just going to be now. Angela, I don't even have to ask you what's next because you teach... You're yes. a teacher and you at VP at the Tropa High School. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But is there anything exciting or like yeah, that? Yeah, our, our school, school? school is doing a show, so um, I can't exactly disclose just yet to wonder what's going to be happening. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll be doing our school musical, so. Um, yeah, I'm very happy and very privileged that everything's starting up again. So when Matilda ends in October, we'll be starting additions at our school for our school musical in October. So going from one show into the next show, which, yeah, it's going to be yeah. very fun. But I'm very lucky and, like I said, privileged to be still doing this now. And, and, and the arts is still coming and building itself back up again. So Yes, because, yeah. of course, there were lots of children from a different school, from VP, Alex, and other schools who auditioned. And they didn't get it, not because they're not good. Just because there were too many. I mean, we were uh, like kids we literally even... didn't get parts because they were too tall, you know. And also, it was too small. Or too small, short. Yeah, it was very. It was so oh, sad. Tell us the young, the youngest kids in the show. Yes. Yes. Okay. Because at the auditions, the hall was so full. I mean, the auditorium. There was people sitting and standing so there were too many people to be in the cast I mean it was just impossible so those can now be in the school musical yes and every school it. has that they have yeah. the opportunity and we said to them at the end of these editions don't give up I think that was the biggest eye opener for me of the editions is that we had a lot of kids that were young enough and then we need a lot of adults and the kids that kind of fell in the middle they weren't young enough to be like little Matildas and they weren't old enough to be adults and they ended up not getting in the show and we stand there and we say oh but you were brilliant you deserve to be there and we just because of everything with the, how we were casting and I Ian and Rose and Robin all said to them please don't give up on your singing and they mustn't They're, I say this to my kids at the time we well, don't give up I've gone to try to get an audition 
and tried to go into shows and been denied shows for plenty of times and there's shows that I did get in. So you just got to pick yourself back up and try for the next one. Exactly. Get the next one. Now, I have to say, the kids were quite amazing. We had no real tears and tantrums or anything like that. And we encouraged them to come to the workshop and I've got this little feeling that we will have to do another version of Movies Music Magic or one of the kids' shows. Okay, so watch this space now, man. Absolutely. You've said this so brightly. <laughs> you are in the trick. Yes. Uh, what's now after Matilda for you? Well, Matilda is running during trials and finals. So, um, well, not during, but like it's that. It's um, almost clashing. Yes. <laughs> but next year, I'm wanting to pursue music. So I feel like this is the perfect opportunity for me to just broaden my horizons before, you know, studying music next year. Yes. We're not going to stop. No, no. not going to stop. So <laughs> you're actually going to study university at... Um, I'm thinking of UCT. Well, everybody will either go, they go to UCT or they go to Josie. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, U- UCT is perfect. Yes, it's perfect. Yes. So um, my techie actually told me that we had five minutes and that was two minutes ago. So we, maybe it was three minutes ago. So we've got two minutes. Now I'm going to ask for the last word from each of you. I'm going to start with Darren. What would you like me to say? I will jump on you. Uh, yes. <laughs> Surprise. About, um, how are you feeling about doing the thought of this show? And you know, well, you already said you still feeling your way going forward. Yeah, well, this is my first musical that I am actually going to choreograph. So it is quite a blessing for me as a young colored boy. This is like a big dream come true. I've been in love with musicals. Quickly, so. where did it begin for you, the dancing? Because you don't just wake up one morning and say, I want to dance. No, I come, well, I come from a family who can move, but I obviously watched TV and movies and music videos and those were like my best friends. So I used to watch those and then I just used to copy them. High school musical, I used to practice those dance moves. <laughs> so that's where my dance and practicing comes. Were you in primary school then? Yes. Where you watch all those shows and yes. then you were making that's where your my, moves? That, that's where my love for musicals actually happened. Um, Robin's brother was my arts and culture teacher so he opened up this world to me and that's where I fell in love with all of this actually. Wow, so, yeah. what a small know world. That. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. Oh, and what a memory to have of yeah. him. Yes. So, so this is quite exciting yeah. for me. Yes. A blessing, yes. a true blessing. Absolutely. And Rose, uh, I think just the last word, quick from you, because you, you have to be shut up if you talk too much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think the, the most important thing for me to say is that GNS is 90 years old this year. So it's, it's real thrill to be able to do Matilda as our 90th anniversary production and really show everybody what it is that we do. And I must just keep an eye out because we can't keep being the P.E. Gilbert and Sullivan Society. So we are changing our name very soon to Impact Community Theatre Collective because we want to make an impact. We want to work with the community. And we're all about it being a collective. This isn't about us doing things to people or for people. It's about us all doing things together. Yes, I um, think we can embrace the community. The Why not? Exactly. Yes. We're putting our feelers out, making connections all around, especially lately into the northern areas and New Brighton, Kwasakele. And that's very exciting. Okay. So, yes. And you, Naina? Uh, I just feel very grateful for this experience. We can begin for you. Like my music, my love for music. Yeah, because you also, if you, I mean, when you're three years old, you don't know. When you're two <laughs> years old, or maybe you do know. If your mom or your family and your granny grabbed you and said, do you sing in the church choir? Yeah, actually, my mom started teaching me piano at the age of five. And my grandma and family, like my mother's side is very musical. So I grew up with that um, love for music. And through the years, going to school, I had... Um, being in choirs and being in the different bands, um, that's how I've just got gotten to learn so much more um, of my gift and I'm very grateful for that. Well, at this war year, of course, we've got a busy road sometimes and there was just a very loud motorbike going <laughs> past. But yes, so it's just music, music for yes, you. I, it's way forward. And a quick word, Angela. Yes, I uh, just come please and support the show because they are very passionate. Watch the space. People that are craving to be on, on stage after COVID, people that are very happy to be doing the jobs they do and doing the passions they love and we want to build this industry back up again. So just come support the show. 
it's my last week. Come and support the show. You can do it. People have been starved of seeing shows, so please watch this space. Remember, 21st of September till the 8th of October. Keep those dates in your diary. Don't go out of town at that time. Be here for Matilda. It's big. It's a lovely show. Now it's really time for us to say goodbye. So thank you, Darren. Thank you, Rose. Thank you, Hannah. Thank you, Angela. And we'll watch this space. Time for me, Mariana Lawrence, to say goodbye from art and entertainment. Ja, Mariana Lawrence, van Kunst in Vermaak, wat nou groet met Arie Marie.